Louisiana Beer Reviews, 7th Tap Brewing Madre Stout. Okay, or Madre Mole Stout as it says on the can. The website says Madre Stout. Locally brewed on Linwood Avenue in Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't know when this company was started. They don't say on the website. This has an adhesive label, but it's not funny animals or something about the devil. It's just um, a terracotta pot with different chili peppers, some peanuts, and other ingredients. I see uh, cinnamon, banana, pecans. So it's photographs. Kind of a nice change of pace for craft beer. Something more dignified. Uh, <clears throat> brewed and canned by the Seventh Tap Brewing Project LLC. There's about 200 check-ins on Untap. Beer, beer Advocate and Rape Beer only have one each review of it. And this is the first video review for this product in the world. Bought this at Dorignax. It was $4.99 for the can. Let's hope it's great. Fizzing head. Not a creamy head. I'm not too sure about that. It's kind of a Coca-Cola look. Thin body. So the appearance and the sound is not a good sign. Uh, Madre Mole Stout. And it says at Fida Photo. F-E-D-E. Fida Photo. So that's who took it, I guess. Really nice looking... Uh, label actually <laughs> all right so i would like to go to shreveport and visit some breweries so no head and no lacing and like a cold a cola like bubble action going on so i don't know let's go with the aroma <sighs> trying to clear my nose um yeah, chili, spice, dark roasted malts. Yeah, spicy chili chocolate nose. So it smells great. So it's an A plus on the aroma. It's like a C minus on the appearance and the and that sound. Body's thin like a porter. I was doing that um, Four Roses collaboration with uh, Brooklyn Brewery, Black Ops Four Roses, 12.4%. And I was like, man, this thing's thin like a porter. And I read some written reviews that were like saying, this thing's thin like a porter. And then I watched a video from Garrett Oliver. He was saying, it's really not a stout. It's more of a porter. And I was thinking, huh, okay. And that's how this one is. It has a, a watery mouthfeel. The body's light. Unusually thin. The finish is semi-dry. You see that? How that looks. The flavor is dynamic, however. I don't know if the ingredients are killing the head and the lacing, okay? I don't know anything about this brewery except what I just read on the website. It wasn't much. Three friends started it. Three amigos. They said, um... I don't know where Linwood Avenue is in Shreveport. I don't know much about Shreveport. I know a little bit about it. Um, but I'm going to try to go back. It's about four hours from here. Um, then maybe I, we can go up to Texarkana and see if they got any breweries there. Yeah, that's a good trip. We'll do that soon. All right. Um, chocolate, dark roasted malts. I don't know why they're showing a banana, but it... Tastes like that. Oh, is that a plantain? Well, similar type thing. And all these different spices and chilies and chocolate. So the flavor is an A plus, without a doubt. A one hundred out of one hundred. Honestly, it's like a great stout, and it smells spicy. So it's just the appearance and the mouthfeel and the body are very strange. But to be fair, maybe these are supposed to be like that. 
Madre Mole, Mother Mole. Maybe they're supposed to be this way. I don't think they should be, but I'm not. Oh, the spice is kicking in a little bit. Some of y'all might remember when Dos Equis had the uh, pale ale, which was spiced with fire ant tears. They called that. And it kicked in later. That was a good product. So I'm only going to dock it for the mouthfeel and the body, but I'm only going to dock it down to 97. So 9.7 out of 10. It's that good. It's a most excellent product. And for $4.99, I think that's fair to get a sample. I'd like to try more of their stuff. Where there's one can, there's more. So Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, once again, an A from 7th Tap Brewing. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all, go to Shreveport and tour. Great Raft Brewing and 7th Tap Brewing.